I have to go sing like after I film this video. Do I sound like I can sing right now? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sick. My voice is like kind of shot. Today I am showing you guys something um, that has been requested a lot from my friends, from social media. A bunch of people have asked me, how do you curl your hair? I get this asked all the time. I'm on stage a lot and I always um, curl my hair this way. I wanted to show you guys how I curl my hair because I get asked all the time how I do it. This is my natural hair. It's very straight. I just got out of the shower and blow dried it. It actually has a lot of volume. It used to be very flat. Um, but I have been t using this shampoo and conditioner. Let me show y'all. Love Beauty and Planet. Shampoo and conditioner. It is the volume and bounty one. It's the coconut water and mimosa flower um, One it's in the blue bottle if you have issues with volume in your hair That's been my issue for years and the shampoo and conditioner has like literally been a lifesaver It's almost gone. I've used it so much not sponsored, but should be. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair, what I use. This is the tool that I, I use. This is called Foxy Bay. My mom got me this for Christmas last year, and it's amazing. Thanks, Shannon. It is um, interchangeable, so you get a bunch of different heads. It comes with a bag of a bunch of other ones. These are um, wrapped around. One is bigger and then this one's a little bit smaller. These ones are just like the straight rods. There's a fat one, a medium one, and then the skinny one. And then these ones are really good. I use these ones a lot. These things look crazy. This one is really cool. I don't know how to describe it, like what it looks like on your hair, but I do like this one a lot. But this one is like skinny and then it gets bigger at the end. Um, so it, it's like smaller at the top and then at the bottom your waves look bigger. Basically, you just take this and line it up in here, click it in, and then you have to turn it to lock it. See how it tells you the temperature's going up and then it will turn blue as soon as it gets to 390 and it heats up so fast. So while that's heating up, this is what I typically do. I will part my hair just like above my ears and go around and leave like a bottom layer. I take a hair tie and then I just tie it on top of my head and then I take the bottom layer. I do this every time I curl my hair, like I have been doing it the same way for years. So this is just how I do it. I section it off, I have one on the left side and then one on the right side. And then I start curling. I take about that amount of hair every time. We'll take this strand and I take this, I like wrap it behind my head and then I just do that and voila. A beautiful curl. And then I just do that all around my head. I leave it on the rod for literally like five to seven seconds. And a lot of people ask me how I don't burn my fingers when I do this because whenever I tell people I use like a wand instead of a curling iron or whatever they're called, um, they're like, how do you not burn your fingers? Every time I try to use a wand, I burn my fingers. And you just hold like the very tip of your hair and you just don't curl it. Like there's like a good amount of hair right there that it's not going on the rod. I'm done with this part, so I take my hairspray, take my hair down, and I section it off again. So I'm just like going up to my temples, like right here, and I am going around again, but I'm not grabbing as much. I'm just grabbing about the top layer, and then I tie that, all the parts that are straight, and then just brush that out. Make sure, I always like check the back my head just like grab and look in the mirror and those are the ones I usually do first so I don't forget about them and yeah and then you do this layer
Once I'm done with the second layer, I take my hairspray again and I kind of like lift it up to get un like the hairspray under. And then I flip it up and then I shake my head. I do this every time. <laughs> and then I let my hair kind of part where it wants to because my hair never parts the same. This is my last layer of hair. I only do three. And I usually just start from the back and I start curling again. I always check the back of my hair. I don't have a mirror, so I just turn on the selfie uh, camera on my phone and I like look at it from the mirror and I check the back. So this is what my hair looks like, um, but I'm not done. So then I turn this off and I grab like I did earlier and spray underneath. I flip my hair to the side and then I start brushing like this. And then I flip it to the other side. So I just kind of like gently brush through it and I get under here. And I make sure to get the back of it too. And then once you brush it out, it like really, like I feel like it has a lot more volume to it. Usually I like take it on the left and like bring it over to the right side. And then I brush it out one more time. And there you have it. That is how I curl my hair. Yeah, I, I always love how it turns out. It's very full. I've always had issues with my hair feeling full and feeling like there's volume to it. And this has just like been the way that's gotten my hair to look very big. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you did and I will see you in the next video. Love y'all. Bye!